Morning, folks. Um, try to get a bear review in. The animals don't uh, run around and mess things up. I was watching some reviews this morning, and, and I was watching a fella from Germany to watch Beer Stuba beer reviews. Uh, German fella, and he was drinking some uh, Bavarian Helles, and uh, got me. Uh, thirsty for some uh, German beers that I got left in the fridge. So I figured I'll pop one out. So the hellas that I had in the fridge is a uh, Hofbrau from München, a Munich, a Munich hellas, 5.1%. Uh, I've been to this, uh, to this Hofbrau Munich before. It's a good beer. You know, it's a good all around beer. Uh, I've been around since uh, 1589. So this is their Hofbrau original, original. I think you say that in German, original. We say original. Right. So uh, let's crack it open. We're gonna use a glass here, Stein. I got there in Bavaria last month. The wife wanted a glass one, and uh, it used to be um, a shop. I was next to the hotel that we stayed at, and it had all steins and beer glasses, and they were closed down. It now became a a massage parlor or something for prostitutes, Thai. I don't know what the hell it was. It wasn't a beer glass place anyways. We came, came across this little place selling just little things, and uh, this was on the bottom. You couldn't see it. And I think it's because it's got a little bit of damage. Well, for five euro, you know, I said, fuck, I take this. This is exactly what, what she wanted. So, so we'll use it. It looks nice. Right. Hofbrau Munchen Helles. München. München. I think that's how you say it in German. München. That nice golden clear look that you get from the Hellas beers. A nice malt, that nice malt lagery smell. You know, just your basic beer that's done well. While we're waiting for this head to go down, I've reviewed uh, uh, some beers so far and uh, here is my uh the worst beers starting one being the lowest and five being not very good either you can see that the island's edge that was wasn't that island's edge stout that wasn't very good and then that hop on hop hop on ipa from hope disgusting and you'll see there I got uh, from Trouble Brewing Katana IPA. That just flavors just raw out. It just, it just tastes like lemony cleaning detergent for your bathroom. So, yeah, that's my worst beers so far there. And they seem to be all from, from Ireland so far, which is disappointing. And now my... Uh, Top five best beers so far. Uh, five being the lower, one being the top beer. So, got Spaten's in there, of course, and my got Franz's Connor in there. And um, surprising to me that I, I got She May Blonde. I got I didn't put the best letter in it for my top five. And very surprising is a Polish beer is the Funky Fluid Fuchsia from uh, the 
double New England IPA, which really shocked me. I didn't think I'd put that at number one, but I'm, I'm, I was trying to find some, uh, some New England IPAs, double ones again, Imperial ones, so I can uh, review. And um, hard to come by over here now. So that's my uh, top worst. Well, my five worst and my five best. But nice gold, yellow, nice uh, foamy head. <sighs> All my dogs running around out there. Right. I just clean lager smell. That's malty, a little bit bitter, a little bit of hop in there just to cut the sweetness. Oh man, that's good. Malty, biscuity, clean, crisp taste. Again, something you can drink all day sitting at the barbecue. Um, you know, you won't even get a hangover because I've never really gotten a hangover over German beers that, you know, because of German purity law, they don't put any other crap in it. And so I, I just, I don't know. I just like German beers. I just think they're the best beers in the world. All right, folks, that's my Hofbrau München Helles review. Holy moly.